Now here's an important one. When you start getting good with effects, what I've noticed with this board is it doesn't save one of these uh, features that I put here on, that, that they allow you to put on these soft keys. So um, I like to save an echo onto number four. I'll put a chorus on number three and um, a two different kind of reverbs on effects one and two. So just to give you the, an example of what these are, um, effects one here, if we go to the library, what I did is I pushed effects and I'm selecting effects one and it tells me that it's a hall small vocal. So let's go to effects two. This one is a hall 480. They're replicating a lexicon 480, uh, which is a very popular reverb in the 90s. Uh, was used on like a lot of pop records. So that's pretty cool, but I actually would rather like take it one step further and go into where, if we just go into, if I go back here, it's called a source. Oh, I'm sorry. It's called something else. It's called library. Okay, when I push that function key, it takes me to this library of presets. So I can select a reverb, go over here, and there are a ton of different reverbs. So you don't need a lot of reverb in this room, so I would pick a very small reverb if I was going to use something. Um, so anything that says small is going to be cool like plate small space, right? Now think about this one, our first, our first one was a hall, so we don't want two hall reverbs, mm -hmm. right? So maybe we make one hall reverb, one plate reverb. So then uh, that's what we've got there. So we push recall, and now you can see that effects one is a hall small for vocal, and effects two is a plate small space. And the reason why we would do that is because for effects one, Maybe I would like to use the, this reverb a little bit on the vocals, right? It would just make those vocals nice. And then effects two, I would use on the band, you see, and give these guys a little something. And then during the show, when like, um, like the music like breaks away and maybe it's just a kick drum, Well, I actually will hop to my effects number two, and I'll go to my kick drum track, and I'll find it. Okay, it's on channel 21. I will start to push this reverb on that kick drum as this part swells bigger and bigger and bigger, and then when that part's over, whoop, put the reverb right back to where it's supposed to be. If you can get good at bouncing back and forth, you can be a real, really, like, really, really cool about, you know, making effects kind of ebb and flow with the track. It's really rad, a lot of fun. Um, so that's what I would do with those effects, and now since I just made that setting on effects one and effects two, I'll go in here to my scenes and select Sunday Setup and Store. So that was me dialing in the reverb. Now let's talk about effects number three. Effects number three, I'm going to make a chorus. So I'm going to go in here to Function, I'm going to choose a modulator, and I'm going to go in here and find one that I think is going to be nice for us. Symphonic Vox. That might be pretty nice. There's this echo chorus. That sounds kind of cool. Two track Vox. I don't know. I always, every Sunday, I always use a Symphonic Vox. I just kind of like this guy. It's a really cool doubler effect. It will just kind of spread vocals and make them wide sounding, and, and I like that. So, We've got that here on effects three. So again, like I wouldn't put that on any of the speakers, but I would totally put that on the choir. So the choir starts here at eight and goes to um, to 14. So these guys are all gonna get that effect. And um, let me save it. Okay, now, Last but not least, effect number four. Go to the effects window, go to number four. You can see here, this is a delay. So you could go in here to the library and you could go in here to delays and you could go and select some delay that you think might be cool. But honestly, what I'd rather you guys do, and, and I'll show you how to do this. You know, maybe we do delayed vocal number one. So you recall it that vocal setting is now automatically here for us and we can put it on whatever vocals we like. 
But what I like to do, and this is also part of my setup, so after I turn the board on and I, and I recall my scene, the very next thing I do is I go into setup. So let's watch this. Set, but, set up button right here. I go to control. I go to soft keys. What I'm doing now is I'm accessing the menu that lets me edit my 10 soft keys over here. Now, there's a bunch of different things you can program these to do. Um, I go to soft key number 10. I always use number 10 for this. And uh, I do tap tempo left and right. Now, this is only going to affect the chorus effect. If I was to tap tempo a reverb, it's not gonna do anything to the reverb. If I tap tempo a chorus, that won't do anything to the chorus. The tap tempo only affects time-based effects, so that's why something like a delay um, is perfect for this. So I'm gonna apply this tap tempo to it and you'll see that that light starts blinking. Now, for some reason, these consoles don't save that setting every time. So when I turn the console on, um, that's one of the first steps that I do. So that way when my, I use my vocal delays, um, I can set the tempo for every song. So here I am to worship, here I am to burn. Okay, so now I've got an echo on tempo with the song. The next track comes, you are big, you are great. And okay, now I've got the, that tempo for the next song, you know? Um, and the next one comes, oh God is an awesome God. You know what I'm saying? So every single song, uh, it's gotta be reset so that way the echoes are on tempo. Otherwise it's gonna be kind of weird um, just hearing an echo happening that's really not on beat with the music. So that's really important. Um, otherwise what you could do if you never want to use this thing and you completely forget about it, like I said, you could go into scenes or effects, I'm sorry, go to library and just select delay vocal number one or delayed vocal number two um, and that one will be good for you. Um, and then you just add it into any track that you want. So I'm not gonna actually put any echo on anything because I'm not sure which vocalist you're gonna want echo on or which ones you're not. So I'm gonna actually leave that out, but just know that if you wanted to put echo on anybody, you would just go here to effects number four and add however much of that that you want on that specific channel.